Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Terry and I make Philippine travel updates. I have very very good news today. One Health Pass is back to One Health Pass. Ah, was so much stress, so many complaints. Some people had very bad experiences. The stupid update last May 2 uh, is no longer. It's near pusha. It's already improved and simplified. Finally, BOQ listen to the people. So this is very good news, guys. You guys don't have to worry about this One Health Pass anymore because I think it was just last night when I improved it. Ah, oh, thank God. So what are the updates, Jennifer? And what's the guide? So let's start with it's easier process and you are now given more time to register allowable time to register so you can write the correct arrival date so with the improved version you can now register two days before your departure so that that should be enough time no it's no longer tight so two days before departure that's sensible good enough so two days before your flight you can register and you can register in a month once your negative test result is ready so either rt-pcr or antigen test should be enough time diba, to register one health pass website says within 48 hours prior to departure time so this time departure time na talaga yung basis so let me show you no let me show you for example if your departure is m on may 7 you can register today may 5 as early as may 5 may 5 6 or 7 kasi two days na so let's go to the website so for example first question nakalagay na updated na talaga siya guys the first question is changed to when are you departure going to the philippines so when is your departure yeah, and for example, if your departure is on May 7, today is May 5. Oh, you can register na, guys. Diba? Naglo-loading lang. Oh, oh. You can register. Wala na yung warning nakalagay dito. For example, if your departure is on May 7 and your arrival is, let's say, May 9, that's two days of travel, oh, no problem. You can proceed with your registration. Yay! <laughs> For example, your departure is on May 10, you can register May 8. So just minus 2, guys. And you can start your registration na two days before or one day before. You can register na to One Health Pass. Two days before departure time. So that is a very big improvement talaga. <laughs> Finally, now step 1 on registering, it's still the same. Go to onehealthpass.com.ph and click register or e dash HTC. Madali lang. Again, this is the only official government website, onehealthpass.com.ph. On step 2, guys, you have to answer the questions. No, it's still the same. Ganun pa rin yung questions. It still ask about your Philippine number, your Philippine address. You still have to upload your negative test result and vaccination certificate. Then once you finish all the questions and you click submit, a barcode will appeal once your record has been accepted. It would say, Health Pass OHP registered. You are registered and your this is your barcode. This will be shown on your screen and also sent to your registered email. So it has your name, your date of registration, your date of arrival, your birthday. Yeah. Is this enough to board the plane? Yes, this is already accepted. So even if you only do step one, you will be able to successfully register, board your flight, and this will be accepted upon arrival in the Philippines. So yes, step one is good enough. This barcode right here is good enough. You will also receive it on your email. This is what it would look like. Yan matatanggap po siya sa email, ossregistration.onehealthpass.com.ph yeah, just take a screenshot of this barcode and you will be able to board the plane, arrive in the Philippines, no problem. So for those people who find it hard to do registration, not so techy, even if you just do step one, you're good to go. Opo, accepted po yan. You are already registered. Now the next step, step 2 and 3, the next steps are for those who want to avail express lane. So if you only do uh, step 1, you only do this, 
you will do manual verification at the airport while if you do three steps you will avail express lane so what are the next steps jennifer oh step two would be sorry this is step three nakalagay pero that's step two within 24 hours prior to your departure time check your email to answer your health declaration checklist so actually guys when you register no sa step one may nakalagay po sa baba on your screen it will say health declaration checklist you can click that and do it immediately actually i tried it and ganun din naman I was able to get this barcode so you can actually do it agad-agad straight away after doing step one although the website naman re, um, suggests that within 24 hours daw so that's totally up to you guys if you do it immediately or maghintay ka ng within 24 hours prior to departure time so yan guys step one i-click mo lang yung sa email na natanggap mo ito health declaration checklist Yan. Sa email po, open your email, yung OSS first email. There's a link, green, click that, and health declaration checklist. It will open a new portal, which you have to answer questions if you have been exposed to COVID, or if you have symptoms, comorbidity. Yan. After you answer those questions, you will receive a barcode. Yan. Barcode. It will say OHP registered, step 2 of 2. It will be shown on your screen and sent to your email. This is also accepted by BOQ and this should also be accepted by the airlines. But this will not avail you or qualify you for express lane. Ha? Ito ay step, parang step 2 of 2 pa lang po siya. It's not express lane yet pero this is good enough for you to board the flight although it says pending validation that's already accepted for those who want to avail express lane let's continue this would be the last step within four hours to one hour prior to your departure you must check your one health pass registration so diba sa upon finishing the second yung health declaration sa screen po it will say check pre-departure validation um, hindi pa po mag appear ang QR code agad-agad. So, you have to wait a few hours, 4 hours to 1 hour before your flight before you click this. Sa email na send po ito, this will be sent on your email, the step 2 of 2 barcode. You have to click check pre-departure validation. So, I did this registration just I think 2 hours ago. I did this 2 hours ago. So, let me show you. Ah, kung na-approve na ba? If it's already approved. Yan, yeah, not yet. Because 4 hours to 1 hour before the flight. It's still a barcode. If you want to avail express lane, you have to check your email. Click this check pre-departure validation po para makuha ang QR code. Sige, 4 hours to 1 hour before the flight. Sa so, kaya hint, ano siya? medyo tight yung time if you want to avail express lane but if you really want to diba, 4 hours before your flight you click check pre-departure validation sa email this will be the last QR code this will avail you express lane it would say qualified for express lane so reminder only those with this QR code only those who will check their uh, check pre-validation a pre-departure validation will avail express lane only those who have QR code will be qualified on express lane if you want to avail of the express lane you must complete your registration so if you only do step one and two register and health declaration it's very simple process you will only be given a barcode but upon arrival in the Philippines, you will do manual verification. So you'll be separated and they will check your negative test result, your vaccination proof. While for people who want to complete the steps and have QR codes, you have to go back to the email na mga siguro two times. So a little bit complicated. Um, you will have to keep checking your um pre-departure validation four hours to one hour before the flight Ganern. a little bit complicated if you want to avail express lane and well the best thing about express lane is upon arrival in the philippines they will just scan your qr code and you're good to go it will be faster ayan so i hope that is clear if you only complete 
if you only have a barcode then simple process but manual verification if you have a QR code you complete all the steps all the steps you have to keep going back and forth to the email to the website but you will avail express lane your process at the airport will be much faster so that is the changes guys I will um, upload the next video um, that we will register together but this is all po I hope I have made it clear you guys even if you're not traveling yet you can go to the website you know just be familiar on the questions on the format yes you can do that there's no harm in doing that so this is all the updates it's very good news thank you BOQ for finally listening to us please learn your lesson that whenever you are doing changes when it comes to travel you have to give lots of information you have to give ample time to travelers to adjust hindi pwedeng oh, announce today two days later implement agad no second if you're going to make changes you have to let the airlines know because at the end of the day they will be the one who will let us board the flight if they are not updated with the rules or with the new changes then we are in trouble so boq i hope you learned your lesson and thank you for up updating and simplifying one health pass we hope in the future soon <laughs> before 2023 that this will be abolished but for now we're happy with the updates thank you and mabuhay po mga travelers stay safe and god bless you all bye